The new normal. One thing for sure, you can be guaranteed that every time you hear from me, it's always going to be a positive, optimistic spin on whatever is taking place in the world, in our lives, in the economy, and in our businesses. And I do that for a specific reason. The main thing that I know for sure is that when you push against what is not working, you get an amplified version of what is not working. And the last thing I think any of us need in our lives right now is more of a sense of what's wrong. There's a lot that could be said about what's happening with the pandemic around the world and for me, that is, is like a black hole. It's, it's like a never ending conversation that can dampen our spirits, darken our moods and take us down a rabbit hole of negativity and doom and gloom. So instead, I'd like to share with you some really great success stories about clients that we're working with and how they're doing really, really well and what that's done for their relationships, what it's done for their vision of their company, and how it shifted their leadership thinking, and how that leadership brings the organization along and connects with their people. So with that said, I'd like to just focus right now on the blessings and I'll share with you more of the details in a fuller video. So the blessing has been that we're not in this state of go, 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 go. Now, that's a benefit to all of us, whether we realize it or not. And it might be actually the hardest thing to adjust to because as, as human doings, we are looking outside of ourselves and wanting to have something to connect to, something to attach to, something to validate us, something to give us a sign that we're doing good, we're doing the right thing and, and everything is okay and everything is well. But when that's taken away, when that doesn't exist anymore, then what it forces one to do, because there's only one other direction to go, if you're not going outward, you're going inward. <laughs> so when you go inward, what happens is you actually discover who you are. You discover what makes you tick. You discover the parts of you that have been ignored, the parts of you that you've avoided connecting to or looking at, the blind spots within you of belief systems and thought patterns that have been holding you back and holding you hostage and keeping you from your happiness and your true joy in life, start to get a light shone on them where you can address them and you can release them and you can let them go. Another thing that happens is when you can't rely on your typical external structure and connect to some sort of outward sense of validation or safety net, you actually go inside and you realize that your, your consciousness and in being consciousness, you're able to create anything that you let your mind and your energy focus on. That my friends, that is power. That is so much power. And when you tap into that, and you realize that you are pure, infinite consciousness, and by treating your energy like it's a magic wand, just imagine Star Wars for a second, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know, that whole sort of mind power perspective, you can create a whole new reality for you that is untouchable and indestructible 
by any external experiences that you are going through currently. So I invite you to do that. I invite you to take the time to cultivate that. Really, truly get in touch with yourself. Rise early, meditate, exercise, drink water, set your intentions, write your goals, define your key activities, and then execute. Just execute and keep visualizing and getting into the feeling of what it's like to live your best life ever. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Deborah Peters, and I'll catch you on the long video on my YouTube channel. Take care. Bye.